Hi guys, and welcome to the Ace Tanker for the Grant, the British M3 Lee, another Lend-Lease tank that was added to the game in 9.5, and uh, this was a game that followed up the M2 and the Stuart 1-4 games in about an hour and a half of gameplay. Um, the tank is completely stock. I've got a 75% crew, I've just moved into it from the Stuart 3 or 1-4. Um, and I've it's basically 100% stock with a 75% crew. The one exception is its gun, which is a 57 millimeter, which I'd already unlocked on some other British tanks. So I've got the second last gun, and it's actually a very very good gun. Uh, nice penetration, 105 millimeters of penetration, 75 alpha damage, and a pretty decent rate of fire. The uh, premium ammo is very very good as well, 170 millimeters of penetration, 75 alpha damage. But I'm top tier. I've been very lucky to get this into a tier 4 game. I'm top tier on Prokhorovka and we're just gonna go. So I don't see myself having to fire any premium ammo in this game at all. So uh, as I say, it's my second game in the Grant after buying it. I'm not gonna say rebuy it because it's a new tank. Uh, so 75% crew, completely stock apart from the gun and uh, the gun is actually quite good. Now it was probably a few weeks between this game and uh, my next Grant game because I was doing the 111 missions. In fact, I didn't play this tank again until the uh, personal missions came in because it's a tier 4 medium tank, which means I was able to play this and grind it while going for personal missions. Now, I was convinced this T-28 was, pro uh, was uh, trolling me. I mean, I don't know how many times he drove in front of me or pushed into me, but... So, uh, second game in the tank ever, and you can see that the gun was actually quite good, and there are lots of potential victims up here. Now, I'm using Binox, but I've got scouts working the midline who are spotting for me, so we're just able to pump out damage, so accuracy is not fantastic, and we bounce on the Valentine, but thankfully don't have to switch to premium ammo, someone else takes him out. You see the gun at rapid firing. Not particularly accurate, Enemy armor but there's kill number one. We've them. And we're just going to work here. Enemy armor is and of course, a low hit. Roll low on that last shot and someone else gets the T-50. So, pretty solid start for the Grant and um, I was pleased with the tank. I know on an Ace Tanker, I think it was the DW2 Ace Tanker I posted a few months ago, I did ask you guys what the next terrible tank I should get an ace tanker in was, and um, a lot of you guys suggested tanks that I've already played and already gotten ace tankers in, because I've been purposely playing awful tanks for a long time now. Uh, but the one tank that a lot of you suggested I haven't got an ace tanker in yet is the uh, M3 Lee. But I don't really want to do the M3 Lee yet, because there are other low tier American tanks that I haven't got ace tankers in yet. So I want to do those before actually doing the M3 Lee. So you're going to have to deal with this, uh, or accept this Grant Ace Tanker in the meantime. Enemy is hit. So as you see, the accuracy is not fantastic. Same problem with this tank as the M3 Lee has. Critical you hit. don't have a fantastic gun arc. We didn't even Constantly have to adjust your tank. Enemy armor is damaged. It's a forward-facing tank. Right, it plays off. more like a TD. And we finally get the AMX-40, but then another flaming AMX-40 appears. And he stops as I fire. But we do have perfect side shots. And we bounce, or miss our kill shot, and then we track for no damage. But we finally get him. So, three kills, it's an encounter, enemy team are capping, most of our team, in fact all our team are on this side of the railway tracks. And there are a lot of enemy tanks sitting in uh, A6, B6. So yeah, I mean, my impressions of this tank were actually okay after this game. I thought, eh, tank is playable. But uh, that was before I got around to playing a few more games in it. So uh, yeah, I think it's just as bad as the M3 Lee. But uh, move forward. Thankfully, I've got tanks who are spotting for me. Enemy armor is damaged. Enemy armor is hit. So one, two. Penetration. 
And we're just going to work here. How that shot was not a blind kill, I have no idea. He must be around there somewhere, but nope. Uh, that was disappointing. Could have had four kills there. So it looks as if most of the enemy team are on the other side of the railway lines. We're on this side of the railway line, so I'm moving forward using bushes, letting my binocs kick in, and we spot an A20. We don't have much to shoot on, and again, the accuracy, not enemy fantastic, vehicle. but we take him out for kill number four. T28, going for track shots. Fail to track him. And miss. So, this gun, it's punchy, it's rapid firing. Oh, he's come back. But the accuracy really, really sucks. And again, don't know how I'm missing these flaming kill shots, this bloody gun. Don't have much to aim at here, hoping for a miracle shot. We do actually get a shot in, but we don't manage to kill him. So, um, the score still could go either way. It's 10-8. All remaining enemy tanks are also tier 4 tanks. And they've just killed our Valentine too, who was working in the middle of the map. But I have spotted Artie. And I'm trying some shots on the move. So there we go, there's kill number 3. Somehow missed the T-28. Take him out, there's Top Gun, that's kill number 6. And all of a sudden we pull this back, so the score is 12-9. So they have a Grant, they have a T-28. Grant must be... A, Grant's on the hill, t 28 in cap. And T-28 goes down, so... Not gonna get 8 kills out of this game, still possible to get 7 kills if we can spot the enemy Grant. Our team start capping. But yeah, after this game, I mean, I'm on almost uh, 1,200 WN8 from this game, and I'm thinking, if the tank can do this while stock, what's it going to be like when it's fully upgraded? But uh, my hopes of this being an actually a, uh, this actually being a good tank were dashed when I started playing it more regularly. So, I think with a 100% crew. I could have had a much better game. Unfortunately, missed my opportunity on the ground. Going for blind shots. Come on, where are you? And I'm down to just one round of regular AP. Haven't fired any premium in this game yet. So yeah, it's slow, it's sluggish, it's forward-facing, it plays more like a TD than a medium tank, just like the M3 Lee does. So we're capping, and I'm hoping I've got the power to get up to the top of the hill, and maybe get another kill, a little bit more damage out of this game before it's over. Doesn't look as if the enemy Grant wants to try and reset Cap, but that's okay. One of our tanks drove out of Cap. Oop, there he is. He's on low health. Gonna get the kill! No! Someone else nicks it. I do all the work, get up to the top of the hill, spot him, and someone else benefits. So yeah, second game in the Grant it was the Ace Tanker. I also picked up a High Caliber and Top Gun. I finished top on XP with 11.62, uh damage done, and 6 kills. 58 shots fired, 33 hits. The uh, accuracy on the gun I was using is not fantastic. It, uh, I actually don't know what the accuracy on the final gun is compared to it. I think it's about the same. I think the rate of fire is very, very similar as well. I think the major difference between the gun I was using and the final gun on the tank is the final gun has more a, uh, more alpha damage but less penetration uh, but uh, yeah you can see the accuracy was poor and that could have been down to the fact I only had a 75% crew in it um, and the penetration is okay but I still didn't pen or I bounced a lot more shots than I thought uh, for the penetration on the gun so 33 hits 24 penetrations the damage was nice but it could have been much much better uh, 2 spotted 10 or damage 6 destroyed 401 assistance damage and with a premium account, I finished up with uh, 28,500 credits. 
Which, considering I was top tier in a tier 4 game, didn't have to fire any premium ammo, I was, uh, that was a decent amount of money for a tier 4. Uh, 1743 XP overall with the premium account, and as I say, it was my second game in the tank, uh, with the tank basically being almost completely stock, with the exception of the gun I was using. Uh, but yeah, Grant, uh, after this game I was thinking, ah, okay, tank's playable. Uh, no, no. I've played a few more games in it since, and it definitely sucks as badly as the M3 Lee does. Um, it's not a great tank, and when I'm finished with it, I still have it. Still need about 5,000 XP before I can move on to Tier 5. Um, but yeah, when, when I'm done and I've moved on to Tier 5, is it going to be a keeper? I doubt it. I'm going to be selling this tank very, very quickly. Anyhow, that was the Ace Tanker. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.